That's great defense by Kara Trombetta. Trombetta not letting anything pass. Inside and a goal for North Carolina. Clages shoots it into the high corner and it's 1-0 UNC. Everybody on this team can play lacrosse and it's just a chance of when you're going to get your opportunity and when it's going to be your chance to shine. So I think Coach O'Leary looked to her bench last game for some help. and Inside feed and North Carolina ties it back up. The goal coming from Wareheim and it's 3-3. So coming up with the draw control for North Carolina is Clages. Quick in transition, Ferrucci sweeps it low and North Carolina goes back on top. Katie Hoeg, one of the best in the nation at assists, currently ranks sixth in the NCAA this season with 21. Inside driving is Ferrucci and she sweeps it low and it's North Carolina five, Gators three. They need Haley Hicklin to come up with a big save here. Wareheim will rip it and score for North Carolina. Hogue will start with it. Back outside the 12 meter fan. Spin move, the shot in for North Carolina. Or rather it was pushing, so back into X. Here's a feed inside the shot. Slips into the right post for Hogue and it's North Carolina nine, Florida four. Marekka just one for five on free position shots this year. Not able to bounce this one in. Hicklin's got four saves today. Here's the shot and flutters the net and it's North Carolina oh. 10, Florida four. Ferrucci takes a shot and bounces it into the low corner. North Carolina extends their lead to seven. They'll run the game clock and that'll do it. Florida's comeback bid falls short, and they fall at home to number three, North Carolina. Our final score, Tar Heels 11, Florida 9, and a tough loss at home for the Gators. They'll drop to 3-5 and five this season. North Carolina will improve to 7-1. and one.